Hello everyone. Today I have something interesting to share. So I try drawing with a brush that I avoid at all cost. And that brush is felt tip pen. It's a hard edge brush that is very difficult to blend. It's great for feeling solid colors, but painting with it is not really something I ever wanted to do. But hey, challenges are great because you also get to discover new facts and maybe your old thoughts change as well. And that's exactly what happened to me this time. I will tell you more about it when we actually start the painting process. So when I started filling the colors, the first thought in my head was like, nope, this ain't it. I decreased the opacity to create that blending effect but sadly it wasn't working well in the beginning. But gradually with more patience and more trials, it somehow looked okay. And that was the green signal for me. So I moved on to other parts and started filling out those as well. I decided to trust the process and kept pushing through. I know it's not really looking all that great, but trust me, it will start to look better after some time. One thing I have realized well that you need to change the opacity of the brush constantly as per needed. Sometimes when you need to blend something really smoothly, you have to make the opacity very low. When you want to show a little bit more gradient, then keep the brush opacity medium. And when you want to keep the hard edges visible, make sure the opacity is full or almost full. Fun fact, I have not used any kind of mixer brush for this one. I just work with the usual felt tip pen with different opacity. Sometimes I tried using smudge brush but I was very disappointed every time. So I wouldn't really recommend it. I was worried about adding the shadow on her face because chances of it turning out bad was high. But I suddenly remembered that I can use multiply layer for shadows and thankfully it worked perfectly. This time I tried not to focus on making the details perfect but tried to give an overall vague idea about it. It kind of creates an illusion of things being detailed, but in reality, they aren't. I noticed this thing from Wolops and Samda's arts paintings. When you zoom in, you can see that there are not really heavily rendered details, but just the magic of light and shadow. I can't and shouldn't say that I mastered this technique, but it's a baby step towards it.
when i was more or less happy with how the face looked i started focusing more on the outfit and the other details the color palette of this portrait is very limited because there isn't much of a variety in the colors but the contrast between the warm saturated skin tone and the dull outfit is actually working pretty well so speaking of the colors let me show you the reference picture that inspired me to make this notice that i zoomed out the canvas a lot and the reason behind it is i wanted to see the entire canvas while drawing rather than focusing too much on a certain area it's the similar feeling that you get when you paint on a traditional canvas and i wanted to keep that in my mind I won't deny the fact that the urge to blend everything super smoothly was really high but a challenge is a challenge and you should accept it properly As always, liquify pen helped me again with fixing weird shapes of the background. I tried to replicate the mesh on the veil by doing cross hatching on it but it's not too precise same with the outfit where I added some of the white little dots to show the design At first I thought the outfit will take most of the time in this painting but I was actually proven wrong to my surprise the hat took most of my time enjoy the rest of the process and you can always decrease the speed if you need that also if you have any questions regarding the painting process make sure to leave it in the comments
I can say that I'm definitely going to paint again with hard edge brushes. I thought it would be really difficult, but it actually turned out to be fun. At first it felt challenging, but at the end of the process I was very satisfied with how it looked. So overall it was a great experience. We are almost at the end of the painting process. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.